what every woman wants from a man is a father so who is a father a father is a provider he provides security he provides care for the family for his wife for his children the father provides seed for the continuation of his name and that family a father is what a woman is looking out for in a man it's as simple as that no woman wants to be the breadwinner of the family let's be realistic come on guys every single home where the woman is like the sole breadwinner of a family or she's the big provider for that family two things are always evident first of all that woman is sad she's not happy i don't care what she says she's not genuinely happy secondly her husband is always disgruntled he's always very angry even when she does honest mistakes he's always like hey she is because of feeding me in this family now because if they feed me now what do you expect even when she forgets to greet him or she forgets to do some things the next thing he thinks is because he is incapable of providing adequately for the family that is why she's behaving or treating him like that so women are not designed to be a provider for the family that is a job of the husband let's even think back from the first couple before god created eve and say i want eve to be a help meet to adam he had already created adam and equipped him and given him dominion over everything in that garden the trees were there the animals were there the fruits were there every single thing he needed to function well was already there present in provision before god did what before god provided him with a woman sometimes a table can actually turn and a man might lose his job might lose his source of livelihood or might even lose his health when he's not healthy he's always sick he's not able to provide for the family those situations are highly understandable right but i'm talking about normal young man who is healthy and strong your major priority is not to be looking all over the place and be looking for who is going to bring 50 50 to you yes because that is what we hear a lot of these things happening in our society today some of these so many podcasts or whatever thing medium that you're using to you know teach these things to people they are not doing you any good as a man what you should be asking from god every time you kneel to pray to him is father make me a father make me a man that can stand well you don't ever see where odogu the asks madam say hey, alpha here you go bring 50 50 hey, this one that one odogu know the answer kind of question because god has blessed him and given him material resources has given him things he doesn't need to ask a woman to pay his rent or be the partake in buying one bag of rice or buying granola. I mean, that is like having a petty mind. And everything starts from our mind. When you begin to think that hey, your family cannot be complete until the woman is bringing 50-50% to everything, then it's not going to be complete. And you keep looking for a woman that is going to bring 50% to you. Trust me. The moment you get a woman that is going to give you that 50%, you can't have it all. It comes with disrespect. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> it comes with disloyalty. Now, I'm not saying that every lady who supports her husband with 50% of bill sharing or whatever is going to be disrespectful for him. But trust me, 8 out of 10 or even 9 out of 10 are always disrespectful to their husband. Why? Because, see, a woman is not meant to provide for you. Make could just face reality. Stop all these things you're listening to. They are misleading you. Some of these guys will go home and do the right thing. But they will come on podcast because, of course, they want to tell you what you want to hear. The economy is dealing with you. You think that eh, this economy too harsh. May she self bring. You're limiting yourself. Pray to God to make you an odogu. Pray to God to make you a father. The question of who brings what is not going to come to your lips. Never. So choose what you want. Do you want a co-worker? Or you want a woman that's going to care for you, feed you, take care of you, love you, take care of your children, stay at home or work from home and take care of your kids. I think you want a woman who will be say 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, you don't jump, go outside. And she won't come back until maybe 10. Well, shout out to all the working class ladies who hustle and, you know, work hard every day. I'm not against you. I don't have anything against you. I was once like that too. Okay, but life change. People change and situations change. But the fact remains the same. No woman wants to go to work every day just because she has to pay part of the bills of the household she is not designed like that it's just like say you remove fish from water can't keep them for grand especially go function where make it thing they swim on top ground that not being habitat now you know get even if you don't take anything out of this video take this one thing 
Don't limit yourself by thinking that one woman is supposed to come into your life and foot your bills 50%. So you're going to wait for her. If she doesn't come, your life will not carry on. Or when you marry her and she's not like that, you begin to, you know, persecute her because why? She's supposed to give you 50% of everything, pay your rent, give you food. You know, no, no, no. You're limiting the grace of God upon your life. Because when you present yourself and you're willing from the depth of your heart, you're willing to provide for that woman, there is a blessing attached to that. You don't know. God is going to bless you and provide for you because the Bible says that he that finds a wife finds a good thing. In other words, he that finds a wife to take care of, to cater to, God is going to bless you because it's a good thing. So now they listen to all these people, they, they deceive you. If you want a peaceful home, if you want a loving woman who is going to be happy and stay young for you and stay beautiful for you and respect you and see you as a father, then you have to be a father. To every woman out there who is shouldering the responsibility of providing for the family alone, I pray that God continues to provide for you, bless you, and give you the grace to do this because it's not easy. Thank you so much for watching. I remain Wendy Zero. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you have not done so yet, and turn on your post notification bell for more videos from this channel. Stay cheerful. <laughs> Always. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.